Hey folks, Silver Stacking Pro here with a video, a we are a, a video response as to why gold was made illegal in 1933. And it's a challenge. I won't tell you what the price is. Um, from Steady Stacking Silver, and it's very, very, very cool. I, I really want to thank him before I do this video. His link is in the description. I mean, a lot of you probably have subbed to him already. He, that is, he is one awesome cherry picker i mean he finds you know coins that melt below melt and they're worth hundreds of dollars so it's just i don't know how he does it i really want to do what he does and hopefully make a few dollars but um here today i'm just showcasing a really cool coin i bought off ebay for below melt and it's got some real good detail that person over there and yeah, very nice. There's also some shininess around. I'd grade this in detail as probably EF. Um, so that would make it a thirty dollar coin. Um, it's very collectible. This, so definitely something I'm happy with. A good pickup. So anyway, this is what I, in simple terms, why gold, um, was banned in 1933. What I've found, what I've learned. So basically, what I when I did my research uh, a few days ago, I saw the I saw a documentary. Not just like I'm not only precious metals, guys. I'm I'm I love computers, robotics, and um, science. But I I had seen some documentary in history. I also love history um, about um, you know just America and um, I think during the 1920s. And it turns out, and I this is where I found it, but I've also done a lot of research. And what I found was the reason why silver, gold was banned in 1933 and it was all bought up by, by the U.S. government was because, see, gold was the standard. The U.S. dollar traded on gold, okay? Gold was the uh, gold as it was till about 1968 was the... Um, was what the US dollar was backed by. And as long as the gold was owned by the public, right, the currency couldn't be manipulated. Or in other words, the government ha didn't have much control over how the currency, um, you know, how the currency was, um, they didn't have much control of the currency, right? So what I've what I learned from all of this was uh, that um, basically they bought up all the gold at twenty bucks an ounce, and then they made it thirty five bucks an ounce, and now since they owned all the gold, they owned what was the standard. So since they owned all the gold, they were able to keep that American dollar standard, and they were they were able to keep the you know, gold at $35 an ounce for over, what, 40 years? And basically, that meant that their currency was very stable and they were able to manipulate their currency and control their currency compared to, you know, the public owning all the gold and the public, you know, changing the value of the dollar every day. So this was basically a move to earn stability and you know to improve the economy which had just collapsed and you know um, the dollar in, in a time of economic collapse paper currency doesn't play out as well as gold or silver precious metals do and US the US government having all the gold in the um, at, in the current country at the time um, would make the US dollar instantly very strong and renew people's trust but also make a lot of people angry because you know they're hard on money they have to turn in all their gold all you know a lot of people at the point probably felt that gold was you know they probably felt safe with gold and the fact that they returned in or face up to ten thousand dollars of charges at the time which is amazing really high would probably be uh horrendous to them but guys thank you guys for watching and um yeah i think 
I I love this. I'm growing on this coin. I mean, if you guys want to send me an offer, do send me it. But this coin is beautiful. Right now, I'm just trying to do a Morgan Dollar O set. Um, my goal is that every month I'll get one Morgan Dollar O. Um, and uh, or if I can, two common dates. And this will be all a VF, a VF, um, you know, twenty plus set and the key dates i'll have to save up for a few months for but um you know definitely want to complete that set it's that de there's nothing to coin collecting if there isn't a challenge okay if and also um guys i also just quick pick up um which i'll be unboxing when i get back from mexico it was uh a 19 it's like 2011 a pr 69 uh piece of um, nickel for four dollars and twenty five cents in PCTS, so that's pretty good. So I'll show you that, guys. And um, you know, gotta go, gotta pack up. So anyway, guys, thank you, guys. Bye.